So here we're going to say that counterclockwise is positive, and we can then say that the sum of torques about the z-axis would equal zero, and this is leading us to t times l sine of 60 degrees minus mg times l over 2. This is equaling zero, and we know that l is equaling 5.0 meters. We know that capital M is equaling 53 kilograms. And so we can say that sine of 60 degrees we know to be radical 3 over 2. And so we're essentially multiplying this entire, uh, multiplying this entire uh, term by 2. So we can essentially eliminate the 1 over 2 factor from both terms. And then we can elim eliminate uh, L by dividing by L and the other side simply remains constant at zero. And so we find that T is simply equaling mg divided by radical 3. So this would be 53 kilograms multiplied by 9.8 meters per second squared divided by radical 3. This is equaling 300 newtons. Now, we can then apply the sum of forces um, in the x and y directions. So we can then say that here, the sum of forces in the x direction would be equal to zero. Therefore, the force of the hinge, so the force of the hinge, this would be the force of P, or the force of the pivot, in the x direction would be equal to negative T cosine of theta. This is equaling negative 150 newtons, theta being, of course, 60 degrees. And then the sum of forces in the y direction we know to be zero as well. So this system has static equilibrium, as well as translational equilibrium in the x and y directions. And the force sub p, force of the hinge sub y would be equal to mg minus uh, the tension force times sine of theta. This is equaling 260 newtons uh, positive. And so we know that then if we wanted to say the force of the hinge in vector notation, this would be equal to negative 150 newtons i hat plus 260 newtons j hat. This would be our final answer. That is the end of the solution. Thank you for watching.